भगवान आई एम कृपा आहूजा फैकल्टी ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज एंड ऑन्टरप्रिनशिप एट एस एवन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल जगतपुरा जयपुर इन दिस सब्जेक्ट वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मार्केट विच फॉर्म्स अ पार्ट ऑफ एन सी आर टी ग्रेट इलेवन नाउ लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द बेसिक मीनिंग ऑफ मार्केट द मार्केट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम लाटन वर्ड मार्केट विच मीन्स मर्किंडाइज वेयर ट्रैफिक trade or a place where business is conducted the uh, concept of market was divided into two parts that is the traditional markets and the modern markets traditional markets the concept of traditional market responds to the early production phase when there was general scarcity of manufactured goods in the market the phase of pre industrial revolution world was categorized by an agriculture come handicraft economy with no elaborate distribution system the agriculturist whether he produced corn or cotton meat or butter disposed of the surplus in his immediate neighborhood secondly according to the american market association the concept of more modern market was defined as at every point where a specific commodity is concentrated for sale a market is found the definition gives a traditional meaning of market the emphasis is on first place the goods available for sale are bought to a specific place and the buyers of those goods reach those places for buying them secondly different markets for different commodities such as vegetable markets food grains market etc traditional concept focuses that market means a place only where actual buying and selling takes place now let us understand a new topic which is e-commerce e business refers to carrying out business activities which can be both industrial and commercial through computer network that is internet the profile of the indian market is vastly different from what it was 10 years ago modern business is facing global competition due to globalization and increased consumer expectation due to changes in technology for this business throughout the world is changing in terms of organization ways of working use of technology perspectives scope and outlook now after completing the topic of market and e-commerce let us understand how do we analyze the market environment which is all around us so the various factors and forces governing the market can be categorized into two parts which is micro environment also termed as internal environment or primary environment or second is macro environment which can also be called as external environment or secondary environment now let us understand the first one that is micro environment micro environment it refers to the internal environment which focuses on operating in the market that are closed or within the organization and affects its ability to serve its customers directly it comprises of the following features firstly we have producer or seller the goals objectives policies strategies of the organizations are the foremost features which govern the market successful companies are those that can recognize and respond profitably to the unmet needs or demands or trends of the society these enterprises rule the market which are capable of keeping themselves aware of the market needs and trends giving market a solution for their unmet needs identifying opportunities and threats in the environment second feature that we have is customer so a customer 
is regarded as the king why because a business has to produce goods according to the needs and demands of the customer but knowing a customer is never simple enterprises have to take into consideration the following features to create maintain and retain this type of force first tradition customs belief value of society and the customers lifestyle standard of living consuming habits propensity to consume and to save education level thinking behavior income level demographic characteristics etc consumer demand is the most important element as it directly affects the enterprise's profitability reputation and goodwill expansion plans etc the third force that forms a part of micro environment is competitors competitors are such factors in the micro environment that provide similar offerings for goods and services to remain competitive an enterprise must consider who is their biggest competitor now let us understand the fourth force that we have is supplier a supplier is another key element of the core system of the market the company is essentially a resource conversion machine that converts materials machines labors and funds into final goods or useful products the necessary resources are obtained from suppliers lack of non availability of suppliers can ruin the market for a product last but not the least we have marketing intermediary marketing intermediaries are institutions that facilitate the flow of goods and services between the companies and its final markets they include resellers transporters warehouse banks promoting agencies these are institution which came into being to facilitate or ease up the work of commuting exchanges in the market they perform a great deal of work in bringing about transactions between the buyers and the sellers market cannot survive without these intermediaries i hope the topic of market and the various factors governing it are clear to all of you In the next video we will learn about macro environment till then stay healthy stay safe thank you for your patient listening and watching